Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Click the bell button for future notifications. Click the subscribe, don't forget all the buttons. Anyway, as you can see here today, I'm not outside, you don't see any wood around me. So today I'm changing the brake pads on the cabin vehicle. This is the old vehicle that we use to go back and forth the cabin on the dirt road. So uh, anyway, the brakes need to be done. Let's get to it. I'm sure some of you uh, mechanics have uh, thought of this before, but uh, instead of messing around with their wrench, check it out. Get this uh, actually started, this jack right here, Ryobi. Click the link right here, Ryobi Tools. Um, it's the quickest way to get it to this point. So it, right now what I have to use is the tool that pretty much everybody uses. So let's get at that. <laughs> Lord, I need a DeWalt tool maybe. Get that all the way up. Spinning tire, yes! Woohoo! I like it! Reverse, reverse, she says! Got five nuts in my hand. Off comes the tire. a little kick and she should come off. Whoa! It's on there good. Doesn't want to come off? What did we do? Kick it harder. Alright, I gotta say I'm a little exhausted already. After the uh, rust was so bad on the tire and beating it for the last 10 minutes, uh, finally got it free. Couldn't get that off, you saw that in the video, in the previous video. Kicking it wasn't doing it, it was clearly seized on. Oh, and here's a cool trick. Um, or a tip, sorry, tip. Uh, just for extra precautions. Good idea. Just to slip your tire under there, just if anything freaky was to happen. You're half covered. It's almost the same height as the uh, jack there. So for this job, 14 mil is what you need here. So let's get this one off of here. I'm not sure if you remember, folks, but uh, here about, um, I think it was the time in the video where the sea was getting fixed. Picked up these ratchets. They're pretty good, actually. Woo-wee! There comes a one, 14 mil. That's what you need for this. So you can see. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow, it's pretty, what, what's great about it is after you give it a good I was gonna say yank, but after you give it a good pull, it uh, you pretty much unscrew them with your fingers. And there she goes! Hmm. It's a little rusted on around here too. Let's see if this can go back. That's not going. Looks like I might need to get a C-clamp or give it a tap there. There's a problem, guys. It is scraping. There's nothing left to that. Wow. Check out the difference, guys. Big difference in the thickness, for sure. 
Especially this guy. Check it out. <laughs> Definitely do to be changed, I'd say. Right here is a Pro Series. And uh, they all come with all these extra clips, so. Take. There's the old clip. I'm going to snap the new one back in place. There we go. Another new one up here. I wasn't sure if they needed to be replaced, but realistically, and they come with new ones, so it may as well replace them, that's for sure. Gotta say guys, I went to the store and got these. These were like $55, I believe. The garages, they pay they charge you about double that. And to put this on, so far I gotta say it truly is uh, pretty simple to do. And uh, I think that they charge you like an hour or maybe even two hours to do your breaks. Um, so it's close to a $300 job from my, my experience, that's for sure. And uh, another thing I gotta say, the uh, rotor right here has got a couple little grooves in it, but I think just in the nick of time this got caught. So. Like I had said earlier, I heard a little bit of scratching from this one exactly and this side. So uh, I think I saved the uh, I think I saved the rotors just in time. All right, so we'll get these back on. These clips out of the way to snap it in place. So, the one in the back, this might be a little tricky because it's kind of hard to tell. And bam! Back one in first! Yes! Right, so this uh, caliber here sees a little tough. Doesn't seem one doesn't uh, like it. Doesn't seem like it wants to move. So uh, what I've got here is the old brake pad flush against the caliber. And I've got a clamp, and I'm going to slowly wind that clamp in. I need to get that um, to move. There we go. Slow and easy does it. Apply some pressure. So only a little more, folks, here. It looks like it's uh, gone in pretty good. don't want to give it too much pressure. Just take your time with it, slow and easy. And she went in. Nice and nice. Looks like I should clean this up on the inside a little bit there. There we go. She's in. And you see it's right around this metal part here. Right around the center. And right here, and you see. There and there. There we go. Alright guys, it wasn't uh, too bad getting those out, but yeah, put a little anti-seize around these as well. It's a good idea. Each of those. Good, good. Not pr There we go. Ooh, let's check out this bottom one. Doesn't look like she's lined up either. Get that other screw. In the bottom. There we go. There she. I'm not gonna put that one on too tight until I get this one a little snug. going on with my wrench? Ratchet. That one's good. And that one's good. 
All right, better get my old junk out of the way. See how long that took? It's two bolts, nothing to it. And the lug nuts off the tar, that's it. Nothing to it. And I'm guessing the second one, no doubt, after you give it a try and do it, the second one is going to be twice as fast. Only thing left to do to this side is got to bleed the line. This line right here. Just got to bleed that line. Right here, I've got the, um, the lines are bled. So now, uh, I was having a little trouble with the, um, with the disc, i got to say. But what I... I know, I know it's supposed to be pretty snug, so I just took the wrench, and there's not supposed to be a lot of play there, but uh, I was having trouble moving it by hand. You can see it there now, but a good little trick, so take your uh, wrench. There we go, need a little movement. And I can also hear a little scraping, but until the, uh, until the new pads get seated into the rotors, then uh, we'll have a little sound. I remember from remember picking up my uh, vehicle from the garage and have a little sound. Usually it lasts for about a day or two depending on how much you're driving, but once they get seated, then uh, it all clears up. No worries there. Once you uh, push that cylinder back in, you're actually pushing the brake fluid back into this uh, container here. So if you're going to do the front and the back, keep your eye on it. Make sure it doesn't overflow. You'll have mess in your driveway. And for this driveway, I'm going to put a link right here. Blondie sealed the driveway. Click it right here, my link. Don't want to mess up your new driveway. That pretty much wraps up the brake pads for today. So uh, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. I'd really like to hear from you guys and uh, any tips that you may have for the work that I just did. I'm going to get busy and get the other side done, but uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.